Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming today in this gloomy, gloomy fall weather to do another get ready with me because I have a ton of new makeup. You will have seen this in my haul, which will go up before this, but I'm doing my makeup before posting the haul. But you'll see all the stuff that I bought new and I wanted to show it to you in action. We are going to actually try the ABH palettes that I duped last time. I bought the new Vive complexion products, uh, highlighter and powder. I have the new Hourglass uh, Tiger palette as well to show you and a little of stain and uh, that should be it. Let me get primed and we can get started. I prime my eyes with my usual Fenty Beauty uh, eyeshadow primer, which is not my favorite, but I am going to start by setting it and I'll set it with this shade Paloma from the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Nouveau palette. And this is not a new palette, but it's new to me. I was not really interested when it first came out, I must be honest, but in the months I've started to have this wish for new palettes and then I bought both of them so the Nouveau and the Rose Metals. Now I'm going to make a video or rather tell me if you're interested in me making a video com comparing the Nouveau palette and the dupes I made because um, someone asked me to and I think it would be interesting and uh, in the meantime yesterday I already wore this once and I am impressed I am impressed so this is not a first impression it's a second impression and yesterday I went really classic Alice this in the crease this in the outer V and this all over the lid with a little bit of this in the inner corner today I want to try to be more on the cool tone side so I'm gonna try to use these two maybe a bit of this and I'm gonna leave the Nouveau for another time because um, yeah, it's not that new and actually let me know if you're even interested in seeing it in action otherwise I'll just use it on my day-to-day -day basis and report back how I like it but my second and first and second impressions of these eyeshadows is that um, they are I don't want to say consistent with ABH quality in the sense that the mattes, as you can see, they're pigmented, they are dusty, so you do get kick up in the pan when you uh, go in it. I'm not that used to it anymore with, let's say, Pat McGrath or uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, no, Natasha Denona eyeshadows. I'm not that used to kick up in the pan that much anymore, but it doesn't really... Uh, bother me in the sense that the performance of the eyeshadows is really really good but this is also what I remember Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow being um, in previous palettes what I think really changed instead is the shimmers um, they have let's say caught up with times um, I remember sultry was already having a little bit of more interesting shimmers and then after sultry I didn't really buy any of the newer ABH, so I can't really tell you if, let's say, Amrezy or something had very good um, shimmers or uh, sparkly shimmers, but these feel very creamy and uh, uh, they have dimension and sparkle to them, not to the level of a Glam Shop Turbo Glow or a Glam Shop Marble eyeshadow, for example, we're not there. But I also think that is in the territory and um, mainstream brands just don't spend that much on pigments. But I think they still made a step. Now I'm going to take Haze first with my brush and I want to show it to you with my brush. So you see that it's not super opaque, you get some sparkle and some of the uh, base color but I'm gonna go in with my finger and uh, the shimmers feel very creamy you can see it's much more impactful bum if you apply it with your finger I haven't tried uh, foiling the eyeshadow as in uh, wetting my brush but uh, I'm now used to applying my glam shop shadows or my Pat McGrath special shades with my finger so 
I don't mind it too much except for the part where my fingers are bigger than my eyelid space and that is somewhat less fun <laughs> but you can see it it gives you a very pretty look it's not super impactful it's not to the level of a as i said glam shop single but it's very pretty i am going in with the brush like before and take the shade nocturne this uh, darker shimmer and applying it on the outer side outer portion of my lid because i don't need that to be particularly shiny and the undertones now that i see them up close close to my own dupe palette are not that similar to what I picked. I mean, maybe, but not really. So we will see. If you're interested in a, in a video like that, let me know. I'm gonna go back in with that crease shade just to intensify and blend a little bit more. So I find my lid, my lid color is quite intense. My crease gets lost a little bit. But overall, I think the shade selection in here is beautiful. I am still not super enthusiastic about that copper shade, but um, it is what it is. Not my shade, not my choice of palette. I put on my Dior Backstage Foundation uh, off camera and I did my brows because there's nothing new there. But I wanted to show you the new Vive uh, concealer. This is the Modern Radiance Concealer. I got the shade Light 4, which is a uh, warm peach undertone. It comes in a very nice packaging. The doe foot is quite huge and picks up quite a lot of products. So I want, usually want to uh, take some off on the edge of the uh, packaging in general. And it is quite a moussey consistency, I must say. And... I don't know if I love it. I've been using it now a bit more than a week, I want to say. And uh, it feels a bit heavier than uh, uh, my uh, Clio Makeup or Nabla Regeneration Concealers. And I think it's the texture. It's less liquid. It's more, as I said, a mousse. It blends really well. I mean, you can see it's also not full coverage. Uh, with the amounts that I apply I think you can definitely build it because it has I mean it definitely covers but I also don't want full coverage mainly because I find it to look heavy on me um, but it is yeah a little bit of a heavier concealer than I'm used to um, it lasts very well during the day and uh, I haven't seen particular creasing. It's just that I think I see it more than I'm used to uh, at the end of the day under my eyes. Maybe that just means it has a longer lasting power and that's a good thing. But uh, I'm still trying to figure out if it's love or if it's tolerance, <laughs> if you can say that. Next up is the powder. The component of this powder is gorgeous. It's like gold and uh, this is all 3D. Um, with this fluting and it's just so beautiful very vive black and gold and I got the powder in light I was again not sure what color to choose but in the end this one is not really a uh, it doesn't really give you a lot of coverage in my experience um, less than the Nabla one for example I use the Nabla pressed powder and I actually used it half of my face each uh, recently. I'm out of breath. Pregnancy. Um, and uh, you could really see how this one has less coverage. Uh, mattifying power is the same. Uh, they wore down the same way. My O's came through in the same way during the day. So um, overall, I'm quite happy with this one. I thought it didn't have as good of a lasting power. But that was just because um, my core temperature is rising thanks to uh, the pregnancy. So I'm always out of breath and a bit sweaty. <laughs> so that's why I think my makeup isn't lasting as much as usual. But um, I really like the base as it is now. It's a bit, this is a foundation base for me. You can still see my skin underneath it. I still have a little bit of my rosacea coming through. You can see my beauty marks through it. 
like this is just perfected skin like I like to have my base looking I'm finishing up my eyes just lining with my Nabla Cupid's arrow as usual I should go with something cooler but I don't like gray or black on my eyes and then I'm gonna take again the shade ashes can I hope you can see how you, we have quite a bit of kick up here in the pan I try always to just pick that up instead of making more um, and just putting that on my lower lash line to blend out the pencil and then with a smaller brush and the shade haze again on my lower inner corner I mean this is quite cool tone for me I feel like but I also think it's quite neutral and the cool tone done well it's not gray it has a little bit of taupe um, undertone to it and I, I think it's a very flattering cool tone even on someone like me with warm undertones for inner corner highlight really you only get the shade right here which is heavenly it has a more uh, yellow undertone but you can see it it's not a warm yellow gold it's more of a yellow champagne type of shade so it works well I used it yesterday with a warmer shade in my on my lid and in my crease and it works well with this as well so I actually think the choice of this shade was quite well caught um, as expected so far this shade and this shade and the copper have not really attracted my attention at all what I I don't understand is this like, rose quartz is like satin I think I'm just gonna use it in my crease at some point because yeah, I know it's really you see it really has a sheen you see it I can't use it in my crease I don't get it like I will never use it but maybe there's people who will so who am I I was doing my mascara and of course I go and touch the inner corner with black mascara but you're gonna have to bear with me if you see it um yeah mascara eyebrow gel we can move on to the cheeks because I have this exciting maybe to play with. I was not going to buy another Hourglass holiday release because I have the one from 2018 and I'm not even close to being done with it. But that one has an issue that I don't like the undertones of the blushes, so I barely use it because of that. So I decided this year to pick up this one because it has all the undertones that I love. One thing that I'm really happy about is that it's a tin um and uh it like yeah it's different it's not plastic it feels much more weighty i don't like that usually hourglass let me show you it has a dent here that is easy to open so this one stays this one's open you see how this one is has a vent this is my original um hourglass unlocked this one instead is whole on this side and there only has a small dent here where you have to actually uh, pry the um, magnet open that's just a little bit of ergonomics that I find difficult <laughs> the shade range in here is a little bit different for me um, it's uh, uh, a little bit darker and um, it's not necessary for my skin tone totally know that and I accept that but I saw people of my skin tone using this shade as a bronzer so I'm gonna do that I have already actually a few times I've had this palette now I want to say for a week or short of a week you can see that actually it would be a really good one and done shade not just a bronzer it has a little bit of that I don't know rosy undertone and uh, I, I uh, read now on the back that this one is a finishing powder. So it's not that pigmented compared to what you'll see the blushes. <laughs> but I think it works well as a, as a bronzer, to be honest. I can also just use this as a blush and bronzer and be out of the door and it's fine. Um, it's just a darker finishing powder that you can use like that. For highlight, there isn't really a lot of options. I mean, there's this guy right here and this guy right here. And I think the middle one is also... It's a metallic strobe powder. And then... Number four is also metallic strobe powder. So in principle, they're both... Uh, these two 
uh, they're both uh, highlighters and I'm gonna take this one um, this one is too dark for me uh, it's beautiful it's not too much you can build it up to be too much but I really like it but you can see that it does apply base color to my cheeks so it is a little bit dark to be just a highlight to be honest I don't mind too much because now I show you how I apply this blush <laughs> it's it's a lot of blush so I don't mind that my it will just end up on or with mixed in with my highlight um, I usually take this shade and mix it in with this like this there's a ton of product look it's a ton of product I always end up with way too much blush when I apply this and I'm not mad about it it's a very beautiful fall orange burnt orange cheek I love this really a lot the thing I'm so worried about a little bit is that um, it's a one trick pony that it does only this that it does only this burnt orange cheek and I'm saying this because these two shades are not that different I mean yeah the one is more orange and one is more terracotta but you can see they're so similar you can see the difference in finish this is uh, less metallic than this one um, and I haven't actually used this one yet because I'm a bit scared of how metallic it is shall we do that now maybe with a highlighter brush bl brush just to be gentle um, you can see how shiny my cheek is already from this shade right here so I'm gonna take a little bit of this and add it on top we get a little bit of depth and a little bit more shine it seems so I'm actually gonna keep it a little bit lower on this side I'm afraid that we're going into too deep territory for me right now but too deep and too shiny but yeah, so my only question is whether this is a one trick pony. You get that and this is a similar shade. You get the highlights. This one is, again, quite similar. I, you, yeah, you get a little bit of a, I don't think you're going to see it. No, uh, you get a little bit of, of color from the marbling, but I usually mix in shades with that because I, the, the, the finish, the finish is definitely not as metallic as um, the highlight that I use um, but yeah so something to think about and I still have yet to try the pink blush so we will see but I am in love with this shade I am in love with this shade now this uh, clashes a little bit with my cool toned eye but I really don't care because I wanted to show you that uh, tiger uh, look and now choice of lip because I was going to show you the elf lip stain i bought this because um julia adams loves it and it's so tiny i mean this is a mac lipstick it's tiny 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 and it doesn't really stain a lot i tried it once um i don't know i wanted to show you this one it's the newest thing that i have in my collection but i still didn't show you this is the rare beauty in bold does this fit this look or the rose ink in graceful does this fit this look a little bit better I think than rare beauty and the other option but you saw it in my lip favorites is coffee and six I think that's the one that fits the best from um, MAC cosmetics so let's do that it is so comfortable i love this finish my lips are a little bit chapped because it's winter but oh, i love this finish so comfortable and the jury is still out if i love it or not but i keep wearing it so i guess it is if not love it is um something i will be using and this is the finished look with my latest makeup purchases I hope you enjoy it. I overall, I'm very happy with everything. I have to still make up my mind whether this Hourglass palette can do enough different things 
to justify the 80, what is it, 88 euros. I got it on Cold Beauty with a 20% discount code. Same with the beef things, but still, it's still a ton of money. And so far, this palette has not disappointed. It is beautiful. I did now two looks with it. It arrived yesterday and um, I am happy. Time will tell if I'm gonna use it a lot or not. And then also I still have to touch or use this one. But the color story is a little bit less fall, um, a little bit more spring, let's say, I guess. Uh, the colors are lighter and I will probably pick it up when it's a little bit matter of uh, lighter shades. Even though uh, Peacock is this blue-brown shade that really fits into this season. I'll be playing around with these in the coming weeks, days, until these babies make their appearance. And um, I will let you know. I am curious to hear what you think, whether you're going to purchase or what you, or you're going to purchase from these holiday releases. I know I ranted about palettes last time and I still am not that impressed, but these were on sale and I got both of them, I think 35, 36 euros each. They're 55 to 60 euros each usually. So I was happy with my deal. So I bought them both. And I think that might be it for my purchases for a little bit, I hope, because budget wise, it's over. Also, today is my birthday as I am filming this and not as you all see it. It will probably be next week when you see this video, but um, it was a self birthday gift, so it's fine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of these products and if you want to see more dedicated videos to the palettes or anything, um, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to do so and I might do so anyways, <laughs> as usual. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.